Notice anything different about the colors of this video? This is what it looks like to those with red-green color blindness. Try these. With the power of Enchroma's colorblind lens technology, the Albright Kemper Museum of Art is giving those with colorblindness the opportunity to have a more colorful, richer art experience. Many are calling it a miracle. I'm here at the Benedictines of Mary, where hundreds of people have been coming in and out all day to pay their respects, pray for, and visit the late foundress, Sister Wilhelmina. The first ever Bluff Woods Renaissance Festival welcomes you to travel back in time and experience the medieval magic. Kansas City International Airport invited 10,000 people to come out and test run the brand new terminal that will be coming to Kansas City. I'm here at Northwest Parkway where 57 trees have been planted since 2017 to memorialize the loved ones who have passed, but also build a better future for the generations to come. So the protesters have been here since before 4 p.m. praying, honking, enchanting, and overall just preparing for the city council meeting that starts tonight at 5.30 p.m. While the item of Kirk's reappointment has been removed, Moved from tonight's agenda that has not stopped people from coming out here. AAA and Missouri State Highway Patrol also offering some travel tips to keep you from celebrating your freedom on the side of the highway. Earlier today, River Bluff Brewing hosted a tailgate party featuring food, beer, art, and puppies. And if there's one thing cuter than Travis Kelsey, it is puppies. Normally, we're used to seeing our servicemen dressed in their respective uniforms. But tonight, the War Dogs giving St. Joseph the chance to see them in a bit of a different uniform. I was not expecting that rain this morning. I went out to go get a spray <laughs> tan, ended up, you know, it ended up How'd that work out for you? <laughs> I had raindrops all over my fresh spray tan. So moral of the story, check the weather before getting a spray tan. There you go. You know, Scott, I thought the saying was April showers, not May showers. And it sounds like... We're gonna we're just gonna have a rainy week. Well, actually, we have a lot of May showers around here. <laughs> oh, it's Halloween today? I had no idea. You had no idea. Oh. There's no clue whatsoever. Oh, this is normal. Well, it is, yes. Jane, I wanna know how that weather is looking out there tomorrow. I'm trying to take my mom out for some Mother's Day mimosas, and I wanna make sure the weather is perfect for Mama Roe. Notice anything different about the colors of this video? This is what it looks like to those with red green color blindness. Try these. With the power of Enchroma's colorblind lens technology, the Albright Kemper Museum of Art is giving those with colorblindness the opportunity to have a more colorful, richer art experience. For someone who's colorblind, the glasses may seem like a miracle, too good to be true, which is why I sought to answer the question, do these things really work? I brought Ted Vandevoort of St. Joseph to test out the glasses and see color for the first time ever. Ready? Sure. Three, two. What? Oh my goodness, I see something besides just blue. That's crazy. That is really crazy. Because this was Vandevoort's first time seeing color in the 60 years he's been alive, I spent a lot of my time with him explaining what different shades of color were present, completely reshaping his perception of color. So I'm not sure, is this a gray? Is this gray? Yeah. Uh -huh. This is like a light bluish. Okay. Like a teal. Okay. For a person that's colorblind, they see about 10% of the million or so plus hues and shades of color that we would as someone that has normal color vision. So the glasses allow them to see a far greater expanse of colors to more see the richness of the artwork, the detail in their artwork, and really more fully appreciate it. An Enchroma study found that about 50% of colorblind people avoid things like painting and visiting museums simply because they can't enjoy the experience fully. And the Albright Kemper is working hard to combat that number and ensure everyone can enjoy the arts. I really haven't considered it a disability up to this point. And it's still not a disability. I've lived a great life, but uh, I think I miss out on a lot of the beauty that a lot of other people see. A lot of society has not catered to people with disabilities. I want to make awareness to what exists for them, what accessibilities they do have, especially in a beautiful place like this with amazing artwork. I've taken them off and now I, I see what I'm, I've had those on long enough that I know what, what that really looks like and I'm not seeing that. Does it make you feel a little bit sad or make you feel It like does a little out? bit, it does. And that's, that's the one feeling that that was one of the main reasons that I've never tried those glasses on before because I knew with what everyone's told me that there's a lot of colors I'm not seeing. So now it does make me a little sad. Yeah, you know, I wish 
I wished I could see like everyone else does. Although September may be coming to a close, which marks the end of Colorblindness Awareness Month, by spreading awareness all year round, and Chroma and the Albright Kemper Museum of Art hope to provide more opportunities for individuals to see more fully in a world of color. What we want to do is to really open up the world for folks that are colorblind to see more, experience more. And, you know, part of that is just raising awareness. This should be in every business organization. We should all be thinking about how inclusive we are for those who have disabilities. So you like it? I do very much. I think I'll get up here now. And when it comes to accessibility in the arts, it doesn't just end at colorblindness, which is why the Albright Kemper has made it their mission to expand their accessibility options. And speaking of options, for those who do have colorblindness, don't worry, there are many different styles and sizes of glasses to choose from. Because everyone deserves a chance to see a world full of color. Reporting from the Albright Kemper Museum of Art, Courtney Rowe, KQ2 News. Hey everyone, it's Courtney Rowe. And Mary Grace. And we are here in Fawcett, Missouri, where we're about to step into the freak show. And we're bringing you guys along with us for the ride because we're too scared to go alone. Courtney, how are you feeling? I am feeling so nervous. I'm just hoping I don't pee my pants. Something I don't think we should. Yeah, make a choice tonight. Your leg or his leg? I'm sorry. What's it gonna be? His leg. Maybe cry, maybe wear a diaper. Just be prepared. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys.